Okay, so this is going to be a hopefully quick addendum to the previous two UV uh, videos and just a, a couple of things that I want to cover um, that we ran into and I didn't really have time to cover last week. So the first thing is uh, kind of prepping your models for unwrapping and this really should have happened as like on the first video. But So we have this cup that is in the process of being unwrapped and if we select this shell you see you've got seams on the top and the bottom and then there's a vertical seam in the back. So we would expect this to lay out kind of as a, as a long rectangle, but if I click unfold, this is what we get, is kind of this vertical cup that doesn't accurately represent the shape. And you can see our checker pattern is, is elongated and stretched out. Now, one thing you could do is kind of scale this out until you get kind of close. Um, you know, there, there's gonna be some there's got to be a little bit of distortion just because there's a taper in the mug but or in the cup, but that's still not quite what we want. So the issue here is that the transformations haven't been frozen. If we look at our channel box layer editor and go into object, um, object mode, you can see that there's a scale applied, and that means that when this cup was created, the object itself was scaled, not the individual faces. Um, so we have this kind of construction history here. We also have a little bit of, of history in the inputs. So to kind of clear all of those out, we go to edit and delete all by type and history. And then we can also go to modify, and this is the important one, freeze transformations. We do this, you can see our channel box kind of resets, but the shape doesn't change, which is great. Now we can go back to our UV shell and our UV toolkit and click unfold. And now we get a really nice uh, clean unfold. Okay, so if you're getting that, that issue with some of your objects where they're just not unfolding in the right kind of aspect ratio, they're, they're, they feel stretched or, or squashed, freeze your transformations and re-click unfold. If you've already set, set down a bunch of seams, you don't have to redo that. You just have to bounce out to object mode, mode, freeze transformations, and then you can unfold those shells again and you should have much better results. So that's step one, or part one. Um, up next is uh, another object in the scene. If we bounce out, we've got this napkin here. I'll frame that up and isolate that. And just kind of what is going to be the best way to uh, unfold this. And I just want to walk through this real quick because it's going to bring up an important point towards the end. Uh, so first thing I'm going to do is uh, freeze the transformations. Okay. And I'm just going to do a planar project. It doesn't really matter. It's just something to, to you know, get uh, started. And now what I want to do is I'm going to cut seams along the edges. I'll turn off the, uh, the grid so we can kind of see better what I'm selecting. So I'm just going to double click on all of these edges. I'm going to grab these ones as well. Okay, that looks good. Uh, and just to save some time, I'm going to grab these vertical edges right here, too. So I'll separate all those out. Okay, so once I have that, I'm going to click Cut. And then I can select all my UV shells and unfold them. And you can see here's what we get. And then I'm going to we'll turn on our grid and lay out the shells. And it's looking pretty good. I don't see any distortion. Uh, it looks like they're all relatively the same size. We can double check that with our texel density. So I'm going to get that one. And then I will set it for those. Um, and it looks like I might be missing a an edge here. We got that one. Where is this one? Ah, you see I missed an edge. Let's grab that edge. We'll cut that. Reunfold everything. There we go. There's our missing edge. Lay that out. Now, the layout here leaves a lot to be desired, and inevitably, the automatic layout is is not always going to be the most optimal. Uh, and so, I just want to fix that. And I just I, I want to call out that you you don't have to rely on the automatic layout tool. So I'm going to grab. I'm going to shell select mode here. Can hide that. I'm just going to grab these shells and move them out of the way. I'm just going to focus on these two because this is these are kind of the main parts that I want to make sure I've got good clean texture on. 
can see it's a little bit deformed, but that'll be okay. So I can lay these out manually. I'm just going to get something that feels a little bit cleaner. Um, so packing these textures kind of into the corner. Like that. And then I can grab these. And we can also uh, straighten the UVs and kind of make that feel a little bit cleaner too. Get those in there. Uh, if you know that that UV shells are going to be sharing the exact same texture, it's okay to lay them over on top of one another. Uh, that is absolutely fine. Actually, we'll save space and allow you to give more texel density to the parts that you want uh, them to have. So we'll do something like that, maybe. Uh, it kind of works. Uh, also, make sure you're checking that nothing is reversed, so we're good there. Cool. And then we've got actually what we can do. Let's rotate these sideways. Let's see. Kind of do something like that and like this. I'll just move those up there. Um, and we can scale this up a little bit, give ourselves a little bit more room as long as it all fits. See, this is going to need a little bit more work. Um, but you get the idea is that doing it manually, that works. Uh, it's just going to give you a little bit cleaner results, uh, a little easier to texture. Two main things that I wanted to call out, um, making sure you're freezing your, your transformations to help with the automatic unfolding, and then kind of manually laying out your UV shells um, to get better and more optimized results.